So today I'm going to show you how to make gluten-free croutons from store-bought gluten-free bread. This makes it very simple and very quick to put together and these turn out very delicious. I'm telling you, you won't be able to tell that they're gluten-free. These taste buttery and garlicky and seasoned with some nice herbs and they have a great crunch. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, I'd like to start off with chef joke number one and number two will be a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. This joke came to me from one of my viewers and left it in the comments, and so now I'm gonna share it with you. All right, what school do you go to to learn how to make ice cream? Sunday school. <laughs> Let's talk about the bread. So today I'm using gluten-free bread, like I mentioned, and in particular, I'm using a brand called Base Culture. Now this works really well. It's a sourdough version. They have several ones and you can get it at Whole Foods. That's where I got mine. The bread does not have to be stale. It shouldn't be frozen when you use it. Now this bread comes frozen, so I take it out and I thaw it before I actually do this. And that's what you're gonna wanna do as well. You can use any bread that you want. You could even use regular bread but like I said, today it's gluten free. I've tried Trader Joe's bread, which is what I have right here. This is their whole grain bread, but I've tried their, their regular white bread as well, and it works great too. So your options are open. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take a knife. I'm just gonna cut two at a time because I have better control. Use a serrated knife, it just works better. We're just gonna cut slices and make these as big as you want them to be. So I like to do something like this. Once you have all your croutons cut up, place them in a bowl and then we'll start seasoning them up. So you wanna melt some real butter and drizzle it over the croutons. Now you'll have to use your judgment a little bit about how much to add. So just, you know, mix it up until it seems like they're all coated and then give them a toss. And you can never have too much butter, right? Give that a toss. I'm gonna go in with some olive oil, just nice and light. I'm gonna just give that a little toss to get an idea. That's probably enough. I don't wanna get it too soggy either. Now feel free to use any spices that you like, but I definitely, you must include, in my opinion, a little bit of salt because we're using salted butter. So just a pinch around, lightly dusting garlic powder. I really think this is just absolutely a must. And then you can use any other spices you like. I happen to have some parsley here, flat leaf parsley that's dried that I'm just gonna sprinkle in. I'm just about out of this in my container here, so I'm gonna use it up. And I have some dried basil. You could use Italian seasoning if you want. I have a, my own video on how to make homemade uh, Italian seasoning, so you could try that. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And that's really all I wanna put in here. I like to give this a good toss and then I'll re-season them again. That way we get the spices evenly distributed. So of course some more of that garlic powder, basil, and toss one last time. You want to pour these out onto a parchment paper covered baking sheet. Make sure to take your time to spread the breadcrumbs out so that each one is touching the bottom of the pan. This will ensure a nice golden brown and crispy crouton. Okay, so in the oven these go. Bake these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to nine minutes. After that, take these out of the oven and we're gonna flip these over so we can toast up the second side. These are going back in the oven for another five to six minutes. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. Why did the man ask his boss for more salad because he thought he was due for a celery increase. Here's our croutons. The second side cooked about six minutes. Ovens vary, so, you know, just play with a little bit. You'll, you'll be somewhere in that range, six, maybe seven minutes. These smell amazing. I smell the garlic. Ah, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna give one of these a little taste test. Tell you what I think. I'm sure you heard the crunch. These are so buttery. So crunchy, got the little basil going on there. So delicious. You can tell they're gluten-free. These are delicious. I've been eating these as a snack. That's how good they are. I can't stop eating them. I keep feeding my face, you know? And they are just, they're top-notch. So I hope you guys will give these a try. 
and they only take a few minutes, way better than what you can buy in the store. Pure ingredients, you control it, you know what's in it, that's the way to go. You're gonna probably need a great salad to put these delicious croutons on, and have I got one for you. It's my mixed green salad with lime dressing. It is so delicious with all kinds of goodies inside of it. Oh, you're gonna love it. Give that a try and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me to let me know. If you have any recipe requests or just questions in general, you just wanna say hi, let me know down in the comments. I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you next week back here for another rockin' recipe.